interesting stuff down on the ground. Uh, so we do, uh, in the same way that you went over this area Just and found backscatter, we Is that found a rock coming right there. Uh, we found that organisms. Like oil. Therefore, looks like they oil. They would be restricted. Uh, now we've got bubbles. So Sorry, Bill. We got oil. Okay, no, I'll go ahead. Oh yeah. And That's we might have for. liquids as well. Looks like we might have oil here as well as gas. I think we do. Yes, they look. They look dark. Oily. Yeah. They look oily. It's for as far yeah, as oil is concerned. It's fairly. It's yeah. fairly discreet area in the Gulf of Mexico where there's very very active oil seepage, and this is. Uh, and this is part of this area right here, it's one of second, them. Please, and you can see those oil bubbles coming out b below that rock. It's very obvious. Mm -hmm. This is an oily spot. Yep. I should point out, That's Jamie, that the uh, National Academy of Sciences estimated around 21 million gallons of, of oil seep out into the Gulf in a year. So that's a, that's a minimum number. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I mean, I think, I think we may find out perhaps to our chagrin, how much oil we're losing naturally a year just to maintain the chemosynthetic communities here at the seafloor. That's true. Well, I skid, it's I contributing to the biomass of the Gulf of Mexico for it's sure. Back up. For people, they think of oil as being pollution, but it's food for, for some. Uh, it's always viewed, the hydrocarbons in the Gulf are always viewed as a negative when in fact, at the, in the, right, at the right rates and in the right amounts, uh, they, they actually support diverse communities so of life. Oh, yeah. Well, we wouldn't be seeing what we saw today if it wasn't for, for hydrocarbons seeping out naturally.